A ceasefire agreement between Kiev and pro-Russia rebels is now in effect. Those living in eastern Ukraine are welcoming the ceasefire in a five-month conflict that has killed at least 2,600 people. However, as CCTV's Kate Parkinson tells us, civilians and separatists in Donetsk say they don't expect the peace to last. The ceasefire in eastern Ukraine appears to be holding, although many fear this is just a brief interlude before fighting starts again. And some rebels are suspicious about Ukraine's motives for agreeing to a truce, as well as Kiev's increasingly close relationship with the United States and NATO. The roadmap for peace also includes the exchange of prisoners of war. This man is a Ukrainian soldier. The peace deal may have saved his life. This ceasefire has brought an uneasy calm to eastern Ukraine. Both sides have accused each other of continuing to shell since the ceasefire came into effect. And although there's been no major violations of the ceasefire, it just shows how shaky this truce is. This family has lived under heavy shelling for weeks and say little has changed since the ceasefire came into effect. Today in the morning, the afternoon and literally one hour ago, there was a shooting in the airport area, somewhere over there as well. And also around here we heard something. We can't understand where they are shooting from and who is shooting. Friday's peace deal gave a glimmer of hope that the bloodshed here could be coming to an end, but already that hope seems to be fading. Kate Parkinson, CCTV Donetsk, in eastern Ukraine.